Welcome to Investing with Danielle. This is my September update. My current portfolio balance is $4,879. My cost basis, which is how much I've invested so far, is $5,492. There's been a recent decrease in value. There has been an approximate decrease in value since I started the investment portfolio of a decrease of approximately $1,000. Some of my recent purchases, I'm going to go ahead and talk about some of my recent purchases. Purchases over the last 30 days. I purchased some more 3M around a dollar. I'm going to go through the highlights. I purchased around $11 of Simon Property Group. You can see I purchased some more Kroger, $2. I purchased Unibanco Holdings, around $3. I purchased Health Peak Properties, $2. I'm working on adding more real estate to the portfolio. About a dollar more of Fidelity Trend. Purchase $4 of Citigroup. Here's a new purchase. I purchased around $2.71 of C3AI. That's a new company that I... Well, it's, I'm not saying it's a new company. It's new to my portfolio. I purchased more Baidu, $1. I purchased American Tower Corporation, more real estate, $1.79. I purchased more U-Haul, about another dollar of U-Haul. I purchased Alibaba. I purchased, actually, let me say this. There was interest from the Citigroup corporate bond of around $33. That's what enabled me to purchase a little bit more than normal. You can see some dividends here. I bought more of Fidelity Trend Fund, a dollar and 50 cents. Some more dividends here. I bought more Fidelity Trend Fund at a dollar. I normally do that when I have like a dollar or two left and I don't have time or I'm not really sure what to purchase or if what I want to purchase, I don't have enough money. I want to put that money to work. So I go ahead and just purchase small amounts of mutual funds. I received some dividends from Discover Financial. I bought KE Holdings at around a dollar and 87 cents. Let me say this way. I bought a dollar and 87 cents worth of KE Holdings. I bought more Fidelity Trend Fund. I bought around a dollar of Capital One. You can see I bought um, C3 AI, a dollar and 60 cents. That's an AI company. I bought around $1.42 of Bank of America. By do I pur purchase $1.42 worth. More of Alibaba, $2. You can see some more dividends. And you can see my cash contribution of $10. Let me see if there's anything that really stands out in the news. Let me click on NVIDIA. So if you look at NVIDIA, there was a, there's been a decrease in value. And yesterday, there was a stock market correction. And it says right here, it's dated the 21st of September. Indeed, do I remember the 21st of September? That's an earth, wind, and fire song. Um, Wall Street tumbled on Thursday with investor risk appetite dampened by worries that the Federal Reserve restrictive monetary policy will remain in place for longer than anticipated. So let's look at what's happened over the last year. My total account value is $4,879.94. Cash available to trade, 
seven cents. Settled cash, seven cents. Cash available to withdraw, five cents. So you can see that I've used every single penny. So this concludes my investment update for the month of September. You can see quite a bit has um, gone on. And this is just for consistency so you can see the balance. Until next time, I hope everyone has a great day, a great week, great weekend, whenever you're watching this. And please join me on Patreon because many of the videos that I do, I put them on there unedited. And sometimes when I edit, I edit out certain information to make the video flow. But before I... Matter of fact, there was one video I did that I completely, I'm not even going to show it on the main channel. It's only on Patreon because when I tried to edit it, it didn't really edit that well, but it is useful information if you want to see my process in terms of how I research stocks. So join me on Patreon. Um, be sure to subscribe, click the all notification bell. And if you would like to help me in terms of getting my watch hours, it would be wonderful if you would go to the Focus on finance playlists or any of my other playlists that are where the videos are currently public and if you can click the play all and watch my videos um, while you're working or going about your day that would really be helpful in me getting watch hours